Our, uh, our second speaker for today is a content writer by profession. She loves spring because this is the most balanced season in India. Because in summer, she feels like she's having a, ba a lava bath and in winter, it feels like she's in the Himalayas. And coming to spring, it is filled with the lovely breeze, which she enjoys and loves a lot. Please put your hands together for our amazing VP membership, Toastmaster Devulina Dhar with a speech title, Have a Caffeine Free Life. Have a Caffeine Free Life, Toastmaster Devulina Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. And to all the guests. Do we have a tea or a coffee lover in the floor? No wonder it's Kolkata. Okay. Good morning, fellow Toastmaster. Okay. Um, today I will tell you the benefits you can get by having a cup of tea or coffee. Uh, coffee is the biggest dietary source of caffeine. Uh, coffee is the biggest dietary source of caffeine. According to Indus Coffee, caffeine, uh, coffee is the second largest commodity traded in the world after petroleum. India contributes three to four percent of caffeine kinds of uh, caffeine production and has a significant presence in the world so caffeine is not a food supplement rather it's the most widely used or should i say abused psychoactive drug in the world not only coffee foods and drinks such as dark chocolate energy drink tea uh, so dust, black tea, these are also a source of caffeine. And drinking these drinks more than six times per day might cause you caffeinism. What is caffeinism? Well, it's a medical term used by the doctors to describe the overdose of caffeine. And you can, the symptoms are agitation, anxiety, headache, stress, etc. Those Headaches and anxieties you are having from tea. Well, the da, you are having them for tea. The effect of caffeine on our sleep. According to American Academy of Sleep Medicine, caffeine reaches the peak level in our blood within 30 to 60 minutes. Um, sleep doctor and Matthew, sleep doctor Matthew Walker is also a author of Why We Sleep states in his book that caffeine reaches, caffeine has a half-life of five to seven hours. Half-life is the time it takes in our blood to eliminate half of the drug. The remaining half stays in our blood for a long, long time. So let's say you have had a cup of coffee at around 7.30 p.m. That means by 1.30 a.m., the remaining half of the coffee is still working in your blood. When it's your time to fall asleep, let's say at around 11 or 12 o'clock, the remaining half of the coffee is going to get affected. This is going to get, affect your sleep hormone, melatonin. And when you will wake up the next morning with insufficient sleep and energy, try to think of the day you are going to have. Not exactly a day you want to hear a boss is taunting. Effect on creativity. According to an uh, experiment conducted by NASA, this is what a normal spider web looks like. And this is what caffeine did to that spider's creativity level. Try to think of yourself as that spider. So now we know the list of benefits. That is agitation, anxiety, headache, stress, creativity loss, sleep deprivation, and the list goes on. So what are the solutions? How can we get rid of them? If you are a caffeine, heavy caffeine consumer, don't have to cut off your caffeine consumption in diet. That might work, but maybe one or two days. 
So you can do it. It's what American Migrant Foundation suggests. You can uh, try to reduce your caffeine consumption 25% each. Number two, stay hydrated. So uh, when we take caffeine, caffeine makes us urinate more. And that's how our brain shrinks and we get the headaches. So what you can do is you can take a lot of uh, water, a rule of thumb is try to take three to four liters of water per day. Number three, get enough rest. So if you're having a headache, try to take a nap or a good night's sleep. Good sleep is the natural, most effective pain reliever in the world. Number four, uh, try acupressure at home. So you can buy an acupressure kit from online. You can use them before starting your morning to have an energized morning. And number five, try an alternative drink. So there are drinks like matcha tea, chicory coffee, which are caffeine free. So you can have them and you can uh, have a taste of coffee without actually consuming coffee or tea. And if you are still having second thoughts, well, there is a study conducted by Mayo Foundation which suggests that those who consume 200 milligrams or more than 200 milligrams of caffeine per day has a higher chances of dying early. The study was produced, published on Mayo Clinic Proceedings and was conducted over a period of 16 years. I will share the link if you want to dig deep. A moments of instant kick can give you the death flick. The rest is up to you. Thank you. Thank you.